In a dreary Brixton prison Where an Irish rebel lay By his side a priest was standing Ere his soul should pass away And he faintly murmured, Father As he clasped him by the hand Tell me this before I die Shall my soul pass through our land? Shall my soul pass through old Ireland? Pass through Cork's old city grand? Shall I see the old cathedral Where St. Patrick took his stand? Shall I see the little chapel Where I pledged my heart and hand Tell me this before you leave me Shall my soul pass through Ireland T'was for loving dear old Ireland In this prison cell I lie T'was for loving dear old Ireland in this foreign land I die Will you meet my little daughter? Will you make her understand? Tell me, Father, ere you leave me Shall my soul pass through Ireland? With his heart pure as a lily And his body sanctified in that dreary British prison our brave Irish rebel died pray the priest that wish be granted as in blessing raised his hand oh father grant this brave man's wish may his soul pass through our land is a part of Ireland with which Britain claims a union, their last imperial stand, a spoil of conquest retained by London. But in this post-colonial world, there's great support for the old notion that is the right of every people to have self-determination. Many Irishmen have laid out clear the arguments of reason. The first united Irishmen and the Patriots flood and Grattan. O'Connell the Liberator and Parnell our uncrowned king all argued well, but Britain to its grip of power did cling. From the Treaty of Limerick, apply for land to confiscate to the Griffith-Collins Treaty signed under Lloyd George's heavy threat. 
when the peaceful force of argument falls on deaf ears, of course, the only road to understanding is the argument of force.